My name is Cameron Chump. I'm a senior at Sterling High School, as you know, and I will be singing Not for the Life of Me from Thoroughly Modern Life. Okay. ceases to be beautiful when the water stays still. All right, so uh, I studied all the pictures in magazines or books. I memorized the subway tube. In other words, try to create some volume. Would you try that, please? Okay, go ahead. I studied all the pictures in magazines and books. I memorized the subway map too. interesting if you vary the volume. Okay, let's talk about gestures. All right? You know what to do with your hands. Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> All right, yeah, I can come back to that. Um, okay, you let the text help you. All right? Uh, I studied all the pictures in magazines and show me going through a magazine. You got one? What kind of magazines? I don't know. You tell me. It's your magazine. All right. <laughs> Hold it. And you're, you're, I studied all the pictures in magazines or books. I memorized the subway map to close it. I did it. All right. Start thinking about letting the text influence your gesture because this got old. Yeah. That's true. And, and I know you knew it got yeah. old. <laughs> um, so, at, for instance, show me a country wine. You don't need a gesture. Right, right, or uh, okay. right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. just a little bit. Now, you're not trying to, to give the text in sign language, but you're trying to portray what you're saying. 
So you don't necessarily have to move too much. I studied all the pictures in magazines or books. And by the way, the simplest gesture will last two or three measures. Then the next gesture has more meaning. If you use a gesture for each word, then it becomes really meaningless. All right, so, but take a look at each phrase. What can you do with it? Okay, come on over, let's try it. Uh, I don't want to start there. Or maybe I do. I don't know. <laughs> Let's take it from my gotta be more than a country, uh, that phrase. We're going to start uh, top of page, uh, whatever that page number is, uh, 50, measure 51. Measure 51. Clap your hands just because. Clap your hands just because, don't you know the bear? Okay, now you need a repertoire, Justin. Yeah. Uh, when you have where I am and where I where okay, show me where you are. You're here. here. Where and where I was. Show me that. Right there. Right. Where I am and where I and just keep one hand there and where because you're doing oh, a yeah. comparison, right? Yeah, yeah. So where I am and where I was. And then uh, some other gestures. Uh, your hands, palms are always down. Yeah. Then this becomes significant. Okay. This becomes, develop a repertoire of gestures you can use. Okay. All right, that make them meaningful and related to the text. Okay. All right, there are a lot of great things happening. Your, your ability to come out, I have a question for you. Why did you stand so still and not demonstrate any of that person when you sang the Monte Verde? Uh, <laughs> uh, wasn't it was, you didn't feel it, feel it in the style what you have to write, when you cross if you're a transitional artist a crossover is what I think the term is popularly used you've got to realize that when Monteverdi wrote that he was having someone portray anguish and agony oh. he, uh, by the way the composer lost his wife it's one of the influences that's on that song. So you need, even though it's 16th century, you may not relate to the style of music. You need to relate to the emotive content of the text. Yeah. All right. You have the ability to be a great crossover artist in terms of classical to, to popular. Take the classical training that you have in terms of volume and diction and proper breathing, like you did with Gulf and crossover, and you did. You brought that to the popular vein. Well, take the meaning of the popular vein and the ability to communicate the idea and put it into the classical. So they both they both had that aesthetic uh, artistic model. La Chate was as popular with the young crowd in the 16th century or 17th century, early 17th century, when Monteverdi wrote it, to uh, uh, what you're singing now. All right. That's the only thing I'd have to say to you. So is everything else working? Yeah. What are you doing next? Um, I'm going to Shadow State College in Nebraska. I'm uh, doing the music program there. A what? The music program, the band, the choir. Band, the choir? Much, right. uh, yeah, uh, flute performance mostly and vocal. Great. I hope uh, I hope they can keep you busy there. I'm sure yeah, they, they sure will. will. <laughs> I, being head of Texas A&M's music department, uh, I kind of figured you were headed that direction. All right? Continue to have fun with music. And remember, it's not life. It's just music. God didn't create music to bring stress into your life. So on that day that you have five rehearsals and a music theory test and a music history test, remember that Dr. White told you, it's not life. It's just music. And God didn't create it to bring stress into my life. Okay? Because you will need to remember those words as a major. Thank you. <laughs>